Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK, sticking my nose in America's business as I did five months ago. And I can't believe it. Um, I got a, I got a um, WhatsApp from a friend, big up Jerry Harris and big up all my um, subscribers. Yeah, um, I'd done a video about five months ago when I heard that they were going to give undocumented um immigrants as they call them now they're not calling them illegal immigrants for the purpose of this they're calling them undocumented residents inviting them to get the green not the green card the driving license they can all go and get their driving license now all the undocumented would you believe that thousands of undocumented residents illegal immigrants are lining up for driving license. How can they be so stupid? Why would they believe that New York, America, under Trump, would give them a driving license, which is a legitimate form of ID, when they are undocumented? Why would they do that? I don't understand where people's minds are. You see, with immigrants, they tend to be so bloody trustworthy. So trustworthy. That it's almost like if a white person says something, they just take it on. They just believe it. I don't know why. Despite betrayal, despite, you know, them letting them down, despite being tricked, they fall into the trap every single time. And it's so annoying. How the hell can you be undocumented and go through a legal system, albeit it's called, it's called the green light. What's it called? The green light law. And they're not meant to inform primary um, immigration officers. But what about secondary, who can inform the primary? Or the tertiary, who can inform the secondary? And the secondary can then inform the primary. So what it says, the green light law, undocumented immigrants in New York, expands a form of identification that can be used by applicants. Um, apparently, no one's allowed to disclose or make accessible any, to any agency that primarily enforces immigration law. And the word is primarily. That doesn't mean tertiary or secondary can't inform the primarily ones. Unless, and this is another proviso, unless the commissioner is presented with a lawful court order or judicial warrant. A judicial warrant can be granted if an individual has violated immigration law criminal law. Isn't st overstaying a federal criminal breach of immigration law? Aren't you breaking the law by st overstaying in the country by being illegal? Wake up, guys! Anyway, let me just show you the news release. Um, I think it happened about 14 hours ago, four hours ago. Everybody's got a different take on it. Anyway, this is NBC, I think. Thousands of undocumented immigrants. New York's new green light law is now in effect. This is making more than 260,000 people eligible to get their driver's license. And as News 4's Ida Siegel tells us, the line at the DMV was wrapped around the block. The Yonkers DMV packed to the brim today. The line just to get inside the building was three hours long. Then, another three-hour wait once inside. It was here since 9 o'clock in the morning. I was in the line. And uh, how long have you been online? Now it's like three hours. Today was day one of the so-called Green Light Law, the Driver's License Access and Privacy Act that allows anyone in New York State over 16 to apply for a non-federal license, regardless of their immigration status. Now we don't have to wait for cabs. Ubers, you know, it's, um, it's, it is good to be driving now everywhere. 
But not everyone is thrilled with the new law. County clerks north of the city petitioned to delay the implementation of the law, citing security fears, some calling it reckless. And this morning in Yonkers, some passersby made their opposition clear. Some people driving by with uh, the cell phones filming and uh, screaming, look at this line, it's disgraceful. But despite the backlash and despite the fear among some that appearing in the system at all could make them vulnerable to deportation, these undocumented immigrants were happy to be here. Now they can drive legally and get car insurance. You rather have people driving without having proper documentation or you rather have a road safer? All applicants have to take a written test and then a road test and they can't use it as a federal ID. But now they will be able to drive legally. Reporting from Yonkers, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Well, I don't know what you think of that. I mean, it's not federal ID. It's your... That's what happens when it automatically goes to the next video. You get a lot, a long, you get a noise like that, an interruption like that. So 260,000. Well, I don't know how many is going to go and ask for the license, but the fact of the matter is, is that of course it's a deportation trick. I mean, why would they, I mean, it, to be honest, it's not even offering them anything apart from being able to drive. That's all it's being able to do. And these people are so desperate. Yes, on the one hand, you've got, um, they'll be more protected. I mean, if you get hit by an undocumented immigrant and they haven't got any papers then how do you track them down for insurance purposes so from that standpoint i do understand but the uk the us doesn't get i don't, I don't even know how much they're charging for this license that's another thing what if it says how much the license is bear with me because i wonder if it's a lot of money just because you just never know with these things Okay, Google, how much is the driving license in America for undocumented residents or undocumented immigrants? These came back from a search. Driving licenses for illegal immigrants. Let me see the price. It doesn't say the price. Well, if I find out the price, I'll put it in the description. But, um, yeah, probably quite a bit. I bet it's not your average price. These people will pay it because they're desperate. And maybe within six months, there'll be somebody knocking on the door, ready to cart them off. I don't wish it, but, you know, in a country that's saying we need to reduce immigration, we need to get rid of illegal immigrants. We don't want illegal immigrants in our country. Why the hell are they giving them driving licenses? And people don't have to worry about threats and stuff. They obviously, they probably know that it's a trick, but they've got to say that, you know, to build up the hype, to make people think, oh, we haven't thought about that. We didn't think that they could be a Fair. Oh, we didn't think that they could be criminals. Oh, we didn't think that. Oh, we just came up with this green light law idea. Um, you know, we just thought we'd make our roads safer. So we decided to give them driving licenses without any thought about any criminal background. Well, I'll tell you something. Some people... That's what, that's what makes the world go round. You have gullible people, you have people who are desperate, you have people who are dependent, and these are the vulnerable. These are the vulnerable people, and these are the people the system exploits. If you're needy, you're going to be exploited. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.